Hey guys, it's almost been a month of ownership of this bike and I'd just like to break down five things that I love about it. So let's jump into it. So at number one, first and foremost, is the general aesthetics of the bike. It is a big, meaty American Tourer. I know looks and that are subjective for everybody, but for me, I think this bike is absolutely beautiful. As you know, this is the Dark Horse model. So all the chrome has been blacked out, which is what I like. Gives it a nice sleek stealth look, in my opinion. I wanted the black. They didn't have any in stock. I didn't want to wait months for new shipment to come in. So they had the quartz gray and the quartz gray has grown on me and I have received numerous comments of, from people, mates, and even strangers pulling up to, the, to me at the traffic lights saying how beautiful the color is. And you know what, I, I, I can agree. The color is really nice. Photos in the showrooms and stuff don't do the color justice. It truly is a really nice color in my opinion, but everything is subjective. Second thing I really love about the bike is the overall build quality of it. Now I've had a Jap bike and I think it's Italian. So I had the Italian bike, which was a Benelli and a Japanese bike, which was my Yamaha MT-07. And you can definitely feel the quality differences compared to hopping onto this. Everything on this feels a lot more high quality. The buttons have a nice firm push to them. The metals on the bike feel really solid. There's nothing really on here that doesn't feel premium and you'd hope it would considering that the bike costs here in Australia $36,000 so you'd want you know the bang for your buck and I feel like this bike gives you that everything just feels premium the third thing I really like about the bike which is actually quite surprising for myself is the saddlebags now I never in my dreams considered getting a bagger but after having one I love the saddlebags on this bike. Good thing about these saddlebags, unlike some Harleys, is that they are top loading. Some Harleys load from the side, which is, I personally feel is a pain in the ass. Loading from the top is better in my opinion. The bags are extremely deep. If I'm going out for a ride one time and I'm planning for Arctic temperatures, I can chuck like a three or four XL leather jacket in there camera gear and all that and it still has ample amounts of room and you don't feel the weight of all the stuff in the saddlebags which is a big plus in my books so they're extremely deep and I love them. Fourth thing I love about this bike is the exhaust. Now not the stock exhaust because you know I say this all the time and it's just it's true that every stock exhaust sounds like a sewing machine and this is no different. The overall sound of the bike I like so I've got the Reinhardt slip-on exhaust with the baffle still in for now, I'm considering taking it out. Uh, only because I want it to be a lot more louder. I do plan on getting a tab performance slip on as I think that that is the loudest exhaust that you can get for this bike. And I'm a firm believer that loud pipes do save lives because cars have trouble seeing you, so let them hear you coming. A lot of people have asked me if the bike has a cam in it, as it does have that lopey sound, especially on a cold start, but it hasn't yet. So yeah, it has a nice sound to it. It is a love-hate thing. The engine itself, I feel is quite noisy. That is a con, a love-hate thing, but you chuck some slip-ons on there, it sounds really nice. And lastly, the last thing I like about the bike is its size and presence. Now I'm a big bloke, so I need a big bike. It is a love-hate situation. Well, obviously bigger bikes are heavier, but it comes with the bikes, obviously. I like to ride two up with my missus, so there's ample amounts of room. I've got an extended reach seat on here, which does push me back two inches and up an inch, but it still provides enough room for your pillion. I would like to go back maybe an extra inch or two more, but uh, what can you do? When I do ride, if you have smaller feet, unlike me, the extra large floorboards allow you to put your feet wherever you want. If you want a more forward approach, you can. Sometimes you'll see me riding like this over the floorboards because my feet are so long. My feet, my feet and legs are so long. 
if you're smaller footed and smaller legged, this will be definitely a forward position. You can ride it with mid controls or even put your foot right back onto the floorboards to have more of a tucked up, which gives you a lot of versatility, especially on those longer rides, which is what you want. I love the size of the bike and riding two up does give me ample amounts of room. I thought obviously being tall, I'd be very scrunched up with my missus on the back, but I'm actually quite comfortable. Okay, so they were the five things that I loved about my Springfield Dark Horse. If you're considering this bike, I suggest that you go out and test ride one because you'd be pleasantly surprised. Indian is far more ahead of Harley Davidson, what I hear online, in terms of technology and advancements. So if you're considering a one, please go throw your leg over one if possible. I know it's quite hard here in Australia with stock supplies, especially for the Springfields, as they seem to be pushing a lot of scouts and chiefs out at the moment. But if you can find one here in Australia, throw your leg over one, maybe you could take it for a ride. You should, I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. I love this bike and it's only been a month in. I've probably still got the, you know, rose tinted glasses on, but there's no regrets so far with it. If you like this video, please give it a like. Consider subscribing and I'll be back with another video very soon. Bye for now.